Well, in this morning's Health Watch, the divorce gene. Is it possible that some women have a genetic makeup that makes them more likely than others to end a marriage? Well, according to a new study, the answer is yes. So what's this really all about? Here with the details is best-selling author, Dr. Ian Smith. Great to have you with us, Doc. Thanks. Thank I mean, you. really, is this really the truth? Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, you know, for a long time, we believed that oxytocin, which is the hormone, is what's called the cuddle hormone. It makes women more affectionate. It helps with bonding with babies and such. So for a long time, it's been thought that this hormone could play a role in how a woman bonds. And so this new study looks at whether or not it also can apply to their spouses. So they're not bonding with their spouses? Well, the interesting thing is that it's not that they're not bonding, but they tend to be less commit, uh, committal. They don't want commitment as much. Uh, they tend not to be as happy in relationships. They they tend to have emotional issues in the relationship. So what they did basically was they looked at uh, these twins in Sweden at the Karolinska Institute, a very famous research institute, and they looked at whether or not these women who were having problem relationships, if they had a gene that was a modified version for something, for something called oxytocin, which is a hormone that men and women have actually, and they found that when you had a variant of this particular gene, that that in turn could be related to one's problem in relationships. Now, you know the perception is that men have this problem more so than women. So right. A cuddle gene. Do men have this as well? Well, yeah. Men have oxytocin, but it's for different purposes. Now, men use oxytocin in the reproductive tract uh, in their genital urinary system. However, for women, they use it for milk when lactating, when women are lactating. They also use it for contraction during birth, for the uterus contraction. And we also have always believed that they use it for maternal bonding. So men and women both have oxytocin, but different roles. So in the final 30 seconds, the prescription for success, if you do have this gene is what? Well, here's the idea. I mean, you're not going to walk into a doctor's office and get a genetic study to see if you have this gene, but it is interesting as to whether or not those who do carry this genetic variation, if that is a reason why they're having problem relationships. These couples, by the way, were together for five years, and not only were the women unhappy in the relationships, but they also found that the men were also. All Rebecca right. and Doc, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> My wife hopefully does not have this gene. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back, Dr. Ian Smith. Thank you.